Uh, Carrie Vance backstage at the iHeart Music Lounge in Miami with Rehab and Quintino. Yes, 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 yes. yes. How you guys doing? Chilling, Miami. I always say, great music, great weather, great women. Great company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are the women at? No. Oh, we'll bring some of them over in a minute. <laughs> on the side of the They're wall. All in the back area. The other thing I will say, great memory. Of course. Uh, your memory is is incredible. Yeah, Quintino's so. too, actually. Uh, I've I've known this guy. I think for nine years already. And you gotta tell the story when we first went to Miami together. Oh yeah, we went to Miami and we were like really broke, so <laughs> we shared a room together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a bed, no. <laughs> no, because we just came in for the and then, was new. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was good memories. Yeah. So when was it that you both hit a certain level where you didn't have to share a room together? <laughs> we're still sharing. No, <laughs> no um, I mean, I think. I can speak for both of us. When you come to Miami, like in 2010, 2011, you come and you come back with a hunger, you know, like a hunger to yeah. to to work and to to work hard on music, like because you, you want to be on that stage. You feel the energy. I, I think you also because you see the other artists. Uh, you always have the reflection of the artist you wanted to uh, to be like when you're young. And you always get that memory in your mind, and you always get flashbacks when you're back in Miami. You want to be bigger and bigger, as like a hunger. Yeah. You're like motivated in a, as an obsessional yeah. way, you know. Now, what made you guys? Is this your first single together? The current single you have? Uh, now? We tried a couple of records, um, and uh, we were like, "This is cool, but uh, it's not the quality that we wanted." And then we came with this one, and we thought it was the quality that the people deserve. Yeah. So, um, I really like the record. Um, it's doing great. It's like top five beatport already. Two million views in one week. 500k streams on Spotify and SoundCloud. Yeah. That's a lot of buzz. So for the fans out there that don't know the music, the title of the song is? Rehab and Quatino Freak. And we're dropping a special remix also. Yeah, it's a good thing. So it's going to be... Who did the remix? We did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like 48 hours exclusive. Yeah, it's uh, a, a real festival band. Yeah, it's going to be online in a few hours. And they can get it, grab it for free. So yeah. you got like a, the free and a original, gift. yeah, and, and a remix. It's good, right? Yeah. Now are you guys touring a lot together now. You're doing stuff separately. I mean, sometimes we play the festivals together. I think we're doing something in Thailand together. Yeah. I mean, we both got different studio schedules. You know, like sometimes I think Q has his studio dates then, and I have mine then. So like, you ra you run into each other. I mean, I see him probably more often than my own brother. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you have a single out with Sierra right yes, now. Yes. Yes. It's dope. Uh, Sierra, great artist. A lot of buzz around her right now. She's getting married, so that's cool. And, uh, you know, and uh, that's also my idea was I'm going to drop the Sierra thing. And after that, I'm going to drop right away the record with Contino because I think it has a lot of potential for the summer, especially Freak. You know, I think it's a really the timing and the precision of the record is very good. It's, you know, March, spring, Miami, summer, women, beach. Yeah, you can also see with the, the template of the where we posted it. See the palm tree, so you get the feeling about what you're going to hear. And if you hear the record, you'll be like, okay, it's summer. Summer is yeah. coming, you know? Yeah. Now, you have a single out also by yourself, correct? Uh, we did. I did Unbroken before uh, with Gia Coca. It's a really talented uh, uh, songwriter, singer. Yeah. And uh, after that, I did in a free EP. It's just four records. I, I, I've been playing in the festivals for a long time. And I just wanted to give away like an EP for free to give back to the, the people who are always buying my stuff. Now on the remix tip, and you do a lot of them. Incredible work that you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, we did to Taylor Swift last year. Um, John Legend, we just did Rihanna. But um, yeah, we're just staying busy, you know. It's actually funny, because I started playing a new remix for Major Lazer, and people were messaging me, oh, is this your remix? I'm like, no, it's Quintino's <laughs> remix. I'm like, I should have made that one. He just. And what are you working on remix wise? And the funny thing is, um, so it was an official remix for Major Lazer. I know Diplo and I, I just made a bootleg, it's an unofficial remix. I was keep sending out to my buddies and then I saw Major Lazer playing it and I was texting with Diplo. It's like, let's put it out ASAP. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, now he's playing it and, and, and Diplo by himself, so it's good. And the thing is, I feel this year is all about just dropping music, having a good time. I think the fans see that when less politics, more music. And that's great to hear. Now, there's so many young people in Miami this week trying to learn the music business, trying to get to the next level. Yeah. What's one piece of advice each one of you could well, give?
to somebody trying to make it or get to the next level with the their career? Is, the, we get that question a lot, also from the kids by itself. Like, what, what should we do? It's about determination. If, if you make one record and you'd be like, you, you try to sell it to a label all the time, you'd be like, I cannot sign the record. No, you have to make a lot. And then when DJ are playing your stuff, the label will come to you because they see talent in you. But if you only make one record and then the label comes to you like, do you got more? It's like, yeah, I'm working on it. They'd be like, it's not a sure thing. Yeah, it's, 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 it is quality and quantity. You just keep going, you know, and then take the, you make a hundred records and you choose five out of those yeah. records. And then people tend to be like, oh, I work. No, this is always what I say. It's actually a very important saying. They try to determine the quality in the hours they spend on the record. It's like, I work 200 hours on this record. It must be great. Yeah. It's not. You can work one hour and it could be great. It, you can work 100 hours and it still can be bad. It doesn't matter. True. It's about the quality. Now, do you get any downtime? You're in the studio, you're traveling. If, if you do get some downtime, what do you do when you don't, when you want to forget about the music business? Watch House of Cards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. New season coming up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do love TV shows, man. Like, sit back, unwind, turn off the world. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. Now, you're in a car and you're driving, and you turn on the radio, or you plug in your iPhone, what would your fans be surprised to hear you listening to? I think, I think we both listen to everything, because you, if you listen to our music, it's got a lot of influence of different styles of music. Uh, because we're in Holland, we're really diverse, I think, right? Yeah. We listen to, we, you're not like only hip-hop minded or only dance minded. We're really open to all kind of music. So we listen to all, if you, if you could check the last past thing I was listening on YouTube, the last 25, it will be all different kind of music. You get inspired from different things. I think what kids also do wrong, I grew up in an era of DJing still, that I used to play like four hours or three hours and I had to play 80s, yeah. 90s, new hip hop, old school hip hop, to get the party moving. Now people come in, play a one hour set, and I respect it of course, but it's like, I know a lot of records, like yeah. you also know. It's 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 a history that it can take away from you, and that's also where creativity comes from, where you know a lot of stuff. Now I was telling Ryan and Sunnery, and I, I interviewed them earlier this evening, you know, what I love when I go hear them play is they'll go old school, you know, they'll bring back songs that, you know, I DJ'd yeah. for 30 years, and, you know, I, I listen to so much music today that, it, that you don't hear a lot of those oh wow records and it's great to see that and that's exactly and that's also what we we had actually an idea today while we were walking the streets yeah, exactly. there was a record on like somebody was playing I was like this is a good record let's keep this one as you know and even the record Freak Adina Howard Freak Like Me 100 BPM old school R&B record I knew that record I used to play it yeah you know? it is from that era Montel Jordan Get It On Tonight Next Why Feet Too Close so we know those records and the thing is, like Sonny Ryan are the same as us. We all started in Holland when, when it, like the DJ were not that big of a hype. There wasn't a, like maybe Leibe Gluck was uh, performing, but we're all the Dutch guys performing in Holland, doing five hour shows. So you can play one hour of hits, but then you're done. You need five hours, so you get up and down like a roller coaster. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So you mentioned five hours. How many long sets do you do when you DJ? Because so many, so many DJs today play an hour, no. but you would go see like Danny Tenaglia no, play like, for like eight hours. I did, I did uh, uh, Sao Padre last weekend uh, on the spring break and, we, and I did the beach party like 5,000 people and then they turned it out inside and I played three more hours because I had fun. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter that you do play your own sound because you already played your set. Then you experiment, right? And then you get like, better, you get an ID. Exactly. And I do miss like Pasha New York. I used to play that three hours, yeah. four hours. That was a venue you could do that, you know. You needed a venue also to that the people won and wanted to come on your journey. It's like your journey, they need to step in and be a passenger on that. Yeah. So do you find that at club, you can take, do you take, you know, people that are in the venue on a different journey? Is it a longer journey? Or is it I just, think the club yeah. is more easy than the festival, definitely. Because it's the a festival, you want to see more artists. Yeah, and it's also intimate. So if you play like an experimental song, if you're in the club, you can, you can give them contact with the eyes and everything. So you'd be like one family together listening to experiment new songs and everything. Exactly. And the festival is too big, so they want to like hype a little bit more. So if you go a little bit to the rough path, people get maybe distracted or something else. But if you're in the club, it's like one big family. It's your family. You can educate them. Now after Miami, where do you guys go? Where are you touring next? 
I'm actually leaving tomorrow, uh, Dominican Republic, and a Saturday, Atlantic City. Yeah, cool. I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a tomorrow and Saturday in Miami, uh, Saturday my own night, and on Sunday I go to Vegas uh, for two days. They'll go back home and do a week Europe. Now home is Holland, Amsterdam for both of you. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I've asked this question. We're going to be in Amsterdam and back in October, right? ADE. Where are we going to eat? Where are we getting some good food? Good food is easy. Uh, uh, Red is a small restaurant. Nobody knows it. It's really classy and the best surf and turf, trust me. Then you, if you want to eat like the best meat, it's like a really raw restaurant. It's called Castel. If you want oh, like, yeah, yeah. if you want an Asian, uh, it's a, like a star restaurant. It's called Ron, Ron Blau Oriental. Got it. We got it. I three know. days. Three restaurant days. tips from Quintino. I yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. We love this to... music thing doesn't work out. You can write a guide well, for the I, local I can't paper. make it. I can eat it, but I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I appreciate you taking some time with us today. Terry, thank Wish you, Terry. Wish you continued success. Thank you, Thank you, brother. Thank you.